Hello everybody, I know it's been a while. It's uh, been real busy with work, life, and all that, and I'll talk about that at the very end. So if you wanna see that, stick around or just skip to the end. If not, you're in the right place because what we're gonna be talking about is new titles joining Y Schwartz English. It's more just a, a fun topic that I wanted to uh, bring up first. Bushy Road on the Road, Hololive PRs, Hololive Playsets, how much should they really be worth? That time I got reincarnated as a slime reprint, and lastly, Decide Tramieri. So, let's go! Uh, first up, we have the Bushy Road English Conference. Back then, in April, what we found out was all the stuff right here. Fake Grand Order Camla, Attack on Titan, Don Machi, Rascal Does Not Dream of a Dream Girl. Just talking about all those various topics and the seven deadly sins. There was one more thing coming, coming soon, and they told us it would be mid-May. But today is May 13th, so I think we're way past that point. Uh, what I'm going to do is just bring this sucker up. So uh, I have on the screen, if you don't know, this is Pickle Rick from Rick and Morty. And the reason for that is Rick and Morty is here uh, on my survey of what people hope would come out for English Three people, three brave people actually picked Rick and Morty. And I say brave because this was the giveaway question. Whoever actually guessed the right amount would win a TCG player gift card. Unfortunately, nobody got it right and we are stuck in limbo. We are waiting for that announcement to break the tie. Yeah, so uh, again, I didn't forget about the survey and the giveaway that I was running. It's more just the fact that Nobody actually got anything right, so we're waiting for Bushy Road and Y Schwartz to actually break the tie with uh, announcing this. So why I pickle Rick is more because we have a confirmation that the Rick and Morty anime series is a real thing. So out on YouTube, you can find a anime short. It was a special that they did. This was uploaded by Adult Swim, so you don't have to feel bad if you think it got pirated or something like that. No, it is out there from Adult Swim, so you can go and take a look at it. I will say that it took a little bit of adjusting for me to actually uh, like this anime. Uh, adjusting as in, did you ever watch like a, a movie? Like maybe when you were a kid and then they uh, remade it. I guess you could say that about Batman like 8 million times, but you, you get it like... When I watch an anime and hear it the first time in whatever language, I might be attached to that language, right? Um, I might be attached to the art style. So seeing Rick and Morty in anime form took me a little adjusting, as it did with Ruby right here. So when I watched it the first time, I'm like, ah, I don't know. I mean, it, it looks all right. Uh, Ozpin actually looked okay, <laughs> which is funny because everything I talked about Ozpin with my niece, my niece actually liked this version too. She didn't, she didn't say I, I hate it or anything like that. I didn't say I hate it. It just was a little odd to me seeing that. So what I wanted to bring up here really is I don't think Rick and Morty's coming and I don't think it's coming to Asuka but at the very least uh, we always make these uh, guesses at, or at least we say we want this set coming out to English, coming out to Y Shores. And at the very least now you actually have two more that you can throw in there as in what could possibly come out. Do I think Rick and Morty's coming out for this thing? No, I, I highly doubt that. But in the future, if you really like this anime, then maybe consider it. Maybe Pickle Rick got a shot. Uh, it's funny because I covered up over Shield Hero because uh, Shield Hero, I don't know what your thoughts on Shield Hero for season two actually is. I know what I'm thinking in my mind. But uh, I, I don't know what everybody else is thinking. I haven't talked to anybody about S.H.I.E.L.D. Hero. I know my niece, she gave up on that with two episodes left on the first season. So she uh, passed up on it, which is hilarious because she was the one who told me to watch it. So if you're out there, niece, thank you. And maybe you should go watch it. So next, <laughs> next up is Bushy Road on the Road 2022. Which makes me think there might be a 2023, and I know our European friends have been asking for Bushy Road on the road in Europe in 2023. Well, actually, they probably want it in 2022, but uh, that's not going to happen because it hasn't been announced. So what's happening is Bushy Road hopping in a van or a truck or an airplane. I don't know. I would imagine it would be a truck because they got some merchandise they got to sell, and they're hitting up these anime conventions. I will most likely now be going to Anime NYC on a Saturday. That, that I think that's what I'm aiming for is the Saturday. I wanted to do the three-day thing, but 
it really ticked me off and I'm really stubborn about that whole three day pass but uh, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go out to the Saturday one pending if there's any like sort of snow that comes down around that time of year since it's November 18th in New York's in New York yeah so it's uh not not it's tentative right uh, what they got is merchandise, lots and lots of merchandise, and you could see it here, but why see it when you can see someone wearing it? Why see it in picture form? So uh, you could see here uh, Amane holding her Mashiro goods, and we also have the shirt. She's not wearing it, actually. Now that I'm looking at this, she's not wearing it. But uh, Aina Aiva, she decided to hold the shikishi and the acrylic stand and that ticket and she is wearing the shirt look at her rock that shirt so if you want that shirt if you want that merch it's all here at the bushy road on the road and only credit cards will be accepted so keep that in mind you're not paying in cash but they have a lot of cool stuff actually you can see it all right here they got a skateboard and they got the license plate and all that good stuff uh bushy road on the road i don't know what that is it's 100 bucks I think I said that before, but now looking back at this, I'm like, well, I wonder why they don't fill in the picture on what that actually is, because it, it would be nice to know. Uh, what we have then is, here we are, I'm gonna keep on going. So if you buy $100 worth of stuff, right? You saw that how live I, I kind of flashed it for a second. Uh, you will get an illustration card, and if you're lucky, they can have autograph signatures on them. So. Here you go, this is what it looks like. Sorry that it's uh, cut off down there. Whoop, let me go like that. You see, it's a pretty cool. And for this one, I would imagine since it's poppin' party, we would get I me signature, right? I me. And then uh, if you have time and you wanna show up three days in a row, uh, you are able to actually get these PR cards by taking pictures and uploading them to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and uh, for these certain days so you have to actually show up these certain days to get these actual uh cards which is you know again for me uh, that's kind of why i'm leaning towards uh saturday the second day more because there's three of them uh more than if i really if i really would tell you the truth i probably would go for uh sunday the day three but i don't conventions for sundays normally aren't the greatest right uh i would rather go on the saturday and have the majority of the stuff but it, it'd be cool to actually get some of uh, these as well. I do have the Kokoro already. Um, if you don't know, so here's the stands that you would take a picture with and uh, put it, upload it onto said internet. But if you don't know and you want these actual cards, they actually exist right now. People are selling them uh, on ver from various places. I would say on Facebook, you could buy the PR packs, eBay, or you could buy the individual cards on TCG Player. So there is no shiny foily version that you get from Bushy Road on the road. So you can just go here and if you're not gonna be able to attend or you can only attend one day or two days like myself, then really, you can just buy it right off the internet. That's the nice part about this one. Uh, the Stamp Rally, this PR card set. So participate in a Stamp Rally, uh, take a photo, follow, blah, blah, blah. So th there's many things you can do to actually get um, PRs. And one of them is the Stamp Rally. And you can see here, we got this Chiyoko and we have this Sunrise Egg, Sunrise Egg. I, I don't watch Card Fight Vanguard, I, I watched overdressed for a little bit and then I stopped watching it. I think I got to the episode with the wrestlers when they were like wrestling fighting, which was an interesting episode. <laughs> if, if you did not watch it, that was uh, amazing what took place there because I, I would have never guessed that was that going to be what the episode was going to be about. But anyways, we we have Card by Vanguard. I don't is that actually overdressed? Because I know, I was, I was just checking to see if this says like overdress on here, but it does not. I know Trickstar was in overdress. I don't know if it's in Card Fight Vanguard. But uh, anyways, going back to this. So this Shioko out here, this is stamped. It's it's foily. It's uh, shiny. You got the S here, which is what that's telling you. So you got that stamp. But if you cannot go, uh, you can just buy the normal version from all of our usual uh, places. And this is the one that you can get from your local game store. 
Uh, right here, you can see low price 384, 384. So it does exist out there. Uh, there is actually one in the auction group, the Y Schwarz auction group. If you wanted to buy said thing, I think it's at $25 right now. So if if you catch my drift of where, like where we're going here, and like if you go to this bushy road on the road. There is some substantial reasons to go there. Not only are you enjoying a convention, probably going to do other things while it's a convention, but there is, I, I know you want to say it this way because I wouldn't sell this stuff, but uh, there are people that are willing to go there and get these cards and sell it. So there is some financial value or gain from going to these actual conventions and, and doing this stuff. So. Uh, again, this is just the non-foil version, but there is a foil version out on the Facebook group that uh, you can check out. Uh, you also have a TCG demo session. So if you wanted the Corona Give Me the Finger uh, foily version, then this is how you're going to do it. You're going to go there, you're going to play a demo session, and you're going to get this. You can also get that uh, Burning Flail Dragon, which is... I don't know my thoughts on that. On that card I guess I got to see it in person maybe with the foil it looks pretty pretty sweet is it foil they don't got like the s like they do with uh, Y Schwarz I guess or maybe they do and it's just not there but um, there's a lot happening on that card it'd be cool to see that in foil really that would be nice uh, so out here on TCG player you can see this I don't know if I've seen a person sell the bushy road foily version yet maybe they did and I missed it but uh, here is the shop promo version 220 if you can't get that one, but uh, there is, you know, go out there, play a game, or do that demo session and get yourself a foil. See, so, like I said, so if you take a look at what I just showed you, PRs and all that good stuff, there's there's a good reason actually to go there if you want these cards. Uh, I'm not saying about selling it, but if you're just there, uh, maybe you swing by, maybe you pick up the card, maybe you know a friend that would love to have these cards. Uh, that would be really nice of you to do. Uh, other things out there, so here's that, I guess, demo session uh, going on here. And then we also have, here is that foil PR card, which is really nice. And then that Corona right there. And yeah, here, oh, here's the Bang Dream ones. And, 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 I think that's it. Oh, no, not it. And we still have some Hollow Live uh, cards sitting there, which are your actual SP and SSPs. Is that the SSPs? Yeah, I think so. Wow, that's really nice. Wow. You know what would have been cool? If they would actually have put up the... You know how you get more people to come? You put up the Hollow Live PR cards that are over here. Here on my list, right? Can you imagine if you put that in that glass case, like you put a Gura card in that glass case? I think you're, you're going to get more people. You just need a third one. Just set up a third one and put <laughs> and put uh, Gura and all them in there. And uh, you, you have a knockout of a stand. I think people would be uh, rushing over to see what's actually going on. Not even just that. So uh, onward we go. We have uh, more merch from the Bushy Road on the road and uh, we have trial decks so trial decks and booster box imagine this $64 for a booster box that's pretty awesome and the plus side is I would hope anyways that these things aren't mapped unless someone's just sitting there and opening them until he just tries to find like the SSP or SP you could have that as well um, again I don't know if there are any limits I haven't heard of anybody actually talking about it if you know about any limits or if you know what this hundred dollar thing is please let me know I think there's be people that would want to know um, how this stuff is being sold and what this mystery item actually is so you can see there's a good reason why to show up I know this thing says $59.99 but it's that whole shipping trick actually maybe someone bought it someone bought it so I had it. <laughs> there was one city here uh, that was $75 and I think they I would say they took they sold it but I don't see it here on this list of mine but maybe it was that one they did the whole um put it at $59.99 but then shipping was like $15 or something so maybe it's this $85.95 one that's probably the one that it was but now you can see it is $85 at Bushy Road on the road. 
What we got here is $64. Good reason to show up. You have trial decks at 17 and the trial decks on here is 28, 50, 30, 33, 34. Yeah, so you can see it, totally worth it to go if you're looking for a HoloLive product. Again, the, the only bad part is the timing of all this. So, I mean, the next one isn't until July, oh wow, July 4th. Is that right? Hold on a second. One, two, three, four. July 4th is a Monday. So maybe not. Maybe that's July 3rd. That's that's probably well actually I don't know. Maybe it goes that long, because this one is 27, 28, 29, 30. This is this is actually four days long. Four day long, four day long. Okay, so maybe there's anime conventions that are longer than what I thought there was. I don't know. Okay, anyways, back back to what I was doing. So, uh, trial decks, obviously, up and down, up and down. Uh, the whole, and I, I want to say again, just the whole reasoning about never, like, freaking out or anything like that. I got a comment before about my buy or invest video about how, like, um, they wish I would do it, like, three or four months early and the reason i again say i don't do that is the whole pre-ordering thing i don't want you to get this thought in your mind that i'm cool with you pre-ordering and potentially getting screwed over by a store um uh, the other part is for the most part there's going to be enough product out there remember how like uh two weeks ago you were thinking that that was my wife so hopefully she understands <laughs> uh how three not too long ago gen 3 um there was a huge supply issue right it wasn't coming on time and all that stuff and here we are uh when it was in 40 dollars. now we're at 24 dollars. There, there's plenty that yikes i still look at this chart and it's like that is some craziness that's happening on there um uh, that you know there's gonna be enough product normally to fill it and whatever shenanigans I would say is happening with the delivery of said product or people holding it back or whatever's going on here hopefully that just stops in the future because I can't imagine what fake grand order camelot's gonna look like but I can't can't see people doing that or if they're doing that it's gonna be insane I, I don't know how that product's gonna do so uh, overall remember just when you think about it look if if there's a real shortage like what happened with Mishoku and then you know magically more showed up uh two three weeks later four weeks later after the price went up and everything was being bought out um just l try to find out the reason I, I kept saying that there were delays and some people didn't believe me and you know what there were delays and now it shows up and the price is down anyways i'm gonna move on so prs those pr packs that came with uh buying booster boxes or trial decks yet again you have to get it from a local game store these things just whatever is happening it keeps just trickling slowly out and because of that trickle it's doing what it did with that gen 3 trial deck it's doing the same thing as it happened with mishoku tensei where basically anytime it appears it gets bought out except for this uh this one i mean there was a while there where it was like in the 50s and it just sat a little bit of time it wasn't like it was being bought out right away it's kind of just sitting there in the 70s would i buy this in the 70s no again i told you i would rather buy uh, the premium box that comes out in June, even though that's in uh, Japanese, I would rather have that version with all the cards in it than just get a one Gura card at $70. I would rather get the premium booster box, which you can still buy at $45 on other people's websites. So it's still out there. I would rather gamble on that than, you know, going for this fo foil card, which, you know, again, if you really want this Gura card, then maybe you get it, but uh, I. I wouldn't. I mean, I got my Kiara, which I'm excited. I should be getting that this weekend. And uh, you can see across the board, it's actually pretty amazing. The the non-foil ones are, are being bought out for sure. You can see that Gura's gone. Kiara's gone. Amelia Watson's gone. Mori, though, she's got one left. And that's more just because it's probably higher, $10. And then remember Ina? She was, what was she? She was like in the 18s. I think I said it last week. Yeah, 18s. It was nuts freaking nuts and it, and it finally came down a little bit and uh people are buying it so it's more just because of the price on it uh, i again 
I can't imagine myself buying these in the 40s, 50s, 60 dollars, but we all have different priorities and we have different loves in our lives. So if this is one of the people that you love, maybe you buy it, but uh, I'm going to hold off and hopefully maybe uh, more people get them. Uh, last thing about this Hollow Live uh, PRs, this is the Title Cut PR pack. Again, just keep in mind you will be getting this PR pack if you participate in the Hollow Live PR Title Cut production title cup so this is going to be happening june 1st you have to go to your local game store it starts on june 1st as in being able to do this so uh, your store might be doing it in july might be doing it in august might be doing it next year but they can start doing it as of june 1st and in there uh, you will be getting one of these fabulous cards and they are some fabulous stuff so in there that's that's what you want to do if you win you get more packs uh, but come out there, participate, pull out a child deck if that's what you got to do. But show up and uh, hang out with the community. I think it'd be really cool. All right. Um, whoa, okay. This is <laughs> this is the playset. The playset. We, we're at the playset time. So I'm going to tell you how I did this, and you can either agree with me or not agree with me. So what I normally do when if you remember back in my day when I would do these uh, double rare videos of like just tracking it and again the reason why I did these double rare videos is because people are telling me over time these things get more and more expensive which it does but I was trying to figure out like when the point where it was the lowest at when does it really substantially go up and all that good stuff so that's why I, I did those videos uh, I haven't done it recently just because like the market's kind of like the, what the market is everybody's if you've been a while now if you've seen those videos you can kind of take a stab at like what the market's going to do so what i did here was if you see these numbers on the outside right this 929 uh when i click into it it says 929 shipping included if i click on the sweet say one it says seven dollars and 99 cents of shipping so what you can see here it doesn't match like if I go in here and just use this number it, it does not include the shipping where some people will actually include will make it free shipping but right here like 999 with free shipping so I had a, a few choices to have to do here and what I did was this and I only did it in this case because I know people are like going back and forth on like how much these play sets are worth. And again, I'm not dissing anybody or anything like that. I just want to show you what I came up with, which by the way, I, I can't believe they did this, but all of these say towards the future together. And I, there, there's a reason for that, but I, I can't imagine like making the, the title of these so, so long that you kind of squinch down the words. You see what I mean? Like the card itself. The card itself gets squinched down because of that really, really long title. And everybody has the same exact title. So really, I should have just wrote their names instead of pasting that all, di all in. But I did what I did. Okay, so what I have here is these prices were as of the 23rd, which is not the 13th. Okay, let me save that. These were as of the 23rd. Uh, the ones in column C is the ones with shipping. The ones in column N is without shipping. So you can actually take your pick on which side you want to use. Um, obviously, uh, going back to TCG Player, just showing you this one quick. Some people will do this where you see this at seven bucks plus 99 cents shipping. Some will have it where if you buy it over $5, this is not a good example because that thing is over $5. Let me click this one down here. Um, if I do this one, you can see free shipping on orders over $5. And the problem with this is you have to find a person that's actually selling four of them. Um, that you're able to buy multiple cards from that to get you over that five dollars That's why I've always added the shipping in and if you see here This one says 21 cents, right? So if I just use this number out here That's not a good representation on how much this card is worth because when I click in here I have 42 cents as the lowest one or at least equal to whatever that one was right so uh, you can see the problems with using like the outside numbers 
not using the shipping, using the shipping. So I give you two. You decide which one you want to use, okay? <laughs> like, I, I, I will give it to you as many different ways as possible. We know there is 15 actual double rears, which is insane. 15 double rears, humongous set. Uh, there are 32 rares, 40 uncommons, 40 commons, 5 climax rares, and 12 climax commons. What I did here is, as you can see, I typed all the numbers in. Literally took the average, figured out what a play set is. For I new people, by the way, uh, what I want to say is, if you don't know what a play set is, let me go back here. A play set is four of every card of double rare, common, uncommon, rare, climax, common, climax, rare. And why is four the magic number for each card? Is because in a set, in an actual deck, like a playable deck, you are only allowed to have four of one card. That is what the actual rule is. So when people sell play sets of this stuff, they, they give you a all those cards that you're able to use and for each of them because that's what you're legally allowed to play. So with that play set, you're able to experiment and try out different decks and easily swap, you know, like some cards out, put some in. Like if you only wanted to use three of these sweet saves and you're like, you know what, I want to use four. Great, you have a place that you can grab it. Um, the downside to it, which is what my argument always was, is that only is good if you want to use all the cards or play with all the cards. Like, let's say, oh, I don't want to say it. Uh, I like Noel. So I'm going to do my disclaimer here is I like Noel. Don't, don't, don't kill me. Um, if you don't like Noel, and you buy this play set, then you're getting cards. You're you're actually like throwing away money because you're getting cards of us of of someone that you don't like. I should have used Rent a Girlfriend because people hated mommy, right? Like I was indifferent to mommy, but um, imagine getting a Rent a Girlfriend play set and you know three out of the four girls you like. So you have 25% potentially, you know, I didn't count, 25% of the cards you straight up hated. You didn't want, and then you're paying that money to get that set when you could have just bought all the cards individually. Just a little more effort required, and you could have got those cards and not have to dealt with the mommy cards. But um, that's the idea. Like, if you're not going to play with these, let's say you don't play with half of the play set, you bought half of the cards with no real use. Um, I know people said they like actually collecting this stuff. Uh, which is fine, but do you really need four for like your collection if you're not actually going to play with it? Anyways, going back to this. So that's for my new people. That's what a place that is. Uh, what we have here then is uh, a total of the rares right here. Like how much it would cost for a play set of this stuff. And I am going to unhide these actual rows. So this is what we come up with. All right. So this is the total. 202 for double rares and 158 with no shipping and you can see these totals right here total with shipping i'm going to zoom in even more so there is no mistaking what the prices are total with shipping on double rares and total with no shipping on double rares and you can see 349.37 is what it's coming out with the shipping prices if you don't want to use the shipping prices you get 305.69 now i will say uh, i've done this on my prior videos is i've done this whole double rare plus rares. Uh, the reason for it is because when you buy a play set of cards, there is a discount that kicks in somewhere in there. Uh, some people may think you get like uncommons, commons, climax, commons, climax, rares free. Uh, sometimes maybe you, in, in theory you get it uh, discounted. So this one right here is the free version, right? Like that you're going to get it in because if you do not sell a play set, more than likely, you're not selling a lot of these uh, common cards, right? Like the ones that are somewhere in here or down here, more than likely you're not selling them unless someone wanted just it for their own collection or had some reason to do so, right? You, when you look at sets, when you look at decks, like go out there on Encore decks and uh, just take a look, you don't see a lot of decks with a, a bunch of common cards in it, right? You don't see a, a bunch of decks with outside of hollow live using like literally every child deck card it's not something that normally happens so in that way they're kind of given for free and i think that's what people are missing when they're like describing all of this um going back and forth on it so uh what i did here is 
there is a baby bird. Sorry, I'm just gonna, I'm staring at it right now that it keeps running into, it's, it's just sitting there underneath my table and he's staring right at me. He's actually hopping over to me. He keeps, every day he runs into my glass door and I'm like, please don't die. Uh, but he's just hanging out. He's just staring right at me because he normally runs away when he sees me. But today he's just looking right at me. He, he hit my window right before I did this video. So I don't think you can hear him chirping. But anyways, what we got here, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm distracted. I got a lot of things going on in life. Uh, 260 is what you got there for the shipping. 216 if you just do double rares and rares with no shipping. So that's not too bad. Um, if you wanted these discounted, right? 70, let's say 75% discount. Look at that bird. 75% uh, discount, and I'll show you what I did here. Just so you could see the actual equation happening, so I'm not doing anything crazy or nuts, um, is I took 75% of these, the rares and common, uh, a discount common, climax rare, climax common, that's your discount. And you come out to B282 uh, or 238 with no shipping, you get the idea. 304 if you discount those of uh, 50%, and 261 with the no shipping version. And that bird looks so cool. Uh, but you're going to be like, why, why isn't it free? Why is it discounted and all that? There are some, I guess, a little more expensive commons this time around. Like you can see this one at $0.89. Cents. Climax Rare, 90 You have a Climax Common at 78 So maybe people are like, you know what? I can sell this. I can sell the singles. I don't need to sell a playset. Then maybe that's where you'd use the discount. I still feel like... If you want to sell a playset, you're probably in here. Like, I, I would probably give that other stuff for free. Um, other than, you know, doing the whole uh, discounted 75 to 50%. So if you ask me my thoughts on how much a playset actually would be, it's somewhere around here. I think you're looking at the 230. I, I, I didn't average that, but somewhere in there. Right, because there's going to be some shipping in there and all that. Uh, but I think... If you could get the playset right now, if you wanted it right now, you needed it right now. And again, this does not include trial deck or anything. Uh, if you could get it at 225, you should probably be really happy. If you wanted to wait uh, for people to lose patience on selling the stuff, maybe 200 is not. Um, 200 is a, is going to be a thing with uh, with how much is being opened and all that people are trying to sell. Uh, maybe it eventually gets to 175, 150. But right now, in this present time, May 23rd. You are looking at 225, 230. Yeah, this dude is just staring at me. Maybe he likes me now. Maybe I can let him in. Maybe, nope, he just flew away. Never mind. Okay, anyways, that's it for double rares. Hopefully that helps you out. Anybody's out there that's wondering how much the, the price of this actually is, that's what I come out to be. Again, take your pick on the shipping or no shipping, the discount, no discount, uh, but it's, it's always made sense to me that I would use this number, and that's why I've always included that. Just because it's like, I'm, do, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm doing you a favor by taking this off your hands, but for the most part, you're, the majority of this stuff isn't going to be sold. Uh, it's going to go unsold, so it's kind of like a trade-off uh, for you being able to get the sweet, sweet SSPs and the SPs and the SRs and the triple rares. Uh, you know, you got, it's a give and take because I could just buy the box myself and open it um versus you know like you just taking the profit of this right here which is like two thousand dollars or seven hundred dollars or four hundred dollars so uh that's the whole idea but well i will say i didn't actually plan on talking about the sign cards but yeah they don't really sell here on tcg player because again uh my thoughts on it really is the fact that people are still getting product opening it they rather pull it themselves uh people are attempting to sell it on facebook and they can't actually sell it I think it's a product of what this set really is, is love of, of a certain VTuber, the feeling of wanting to open it yourself versus like buying a play set or having someone uh, sell you single cards, like you want to open it yourself. There are people that are looking for these cards, I just don't think there's many because I think for this time around, it feels like people want to actually have that experience. There's again, people that don't want to go through that and want to just get their card. But uh, this time around, I think there's more than that. And, um, you know, thinking about the just random VTuber, uh, Hololive, 
uh, lover, watcher of all this stuff. They want that experience. They want to get it. And maybe they can't afford to buy this card at $2,000. So they'd rather buy a $60 to $80 box. Or you just, you know, again, go here. Go here and buy this for $64. But they don't, they don't want to go there and spend all that money um, just because maybe they don't have it. We might have a looming recession. Maybe you, maybe you need to pay your bills or pay rent or uh, internet, something like that. Uh, rather than paying two thousand dollars for this card, I, I think to me, uh, when you take a look at the SPs, uh, some of these prices are way way ridiculous. And I've always said that about like multipliers higher up, like going up there, like this thing being two thousand dollars, or this thing being uh, not thing, but Coco being eight hundred fifty dollars. There's only so many people that can't afford that that want to. You could just you know, back in the day, you could have bought a case of this stuff uh, for around this price, and for you for you to pull four SS four SPs and one SSP yourself sounds better than buying one card, uh, whether it's the person you want or not. And I think that's what truly, truly is happening here. Like it's it's not. Look at Coca. Oh man, I really. I can't wait to open my stuff, uh, whether it be coming to me this weekend or sometime in the near future. And this is going to be one of those ones that I, I'm going to love to open when I'm an old man. <laughs> Just gonna, it's going to be really, really cool to see these cards again uh, in that nostalgic phase of my life. Uh, what we got now, moving on, moving on. Jeez, it's been 36 minutes. We have that time I got reincarnated out as a slime. This one's uh, very fun because, you know, again, I, I don't know if people are ignoring this, but there is more being added to said list here. And you know the best part? Today, if I, if I remember telling you, today is May 23rd. And being that it is May 23rd, I really wonder, honestly, if... I wonder if this is the, the user's fault or you could say you blame the seller. Like, if you are this guy that bought three of these booster boxes at $95.82, cents, $0.85, $0.85. If you are this person and you think this is not the reprint, like first edition box, and you got it in the mail, is that a legit reason to actually put in a refund request, you know, send it back because uh, there is this reprint down here, the second edition. I think it is. I think you could probably get away with it too. And I'm not saying ripping off TCG player. Uh, there may be people that are like fishing for uh, first edition boxes here that are hoping this is a first edition box. Do I think this is a first edition? Heck no. There's 14 of them. There's no way this seller right here, again, I don't know if this is true or not, and um, if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. But my guess, and if you do buy from this person, you could probably just write them and just ask them if it is. But my guess is because of the size of the quantity, like this one, the 29 and 16, seeing that they weren't selling it before to have that quantity, I highly doubt this is a first edition box. But I would imagine if you get that in the mail, that you could probably put in a uh, request to send it back and actually get a refund because that is not a first edition more than likely. Uh, what you're looking for is this reprint, which is $72. So this is the correct one down here. Um, you can see reprint labeled correctly up there. Uh, on this box here, it says not for sale until June something 2020. I can't read that, but you can see there's a difference in the boxes. And I would say, I mean, if I was a seller, or if you know these these people, you might want to tell them, because if not, you're going to have a, what do they call that? A lot of cost of doing business returns, right? Like for TCG player, I think if uh, someone puts in a return, the seller is obligated to pay the shipping, I believe. If I'm wrong, let me know, but I think that's what's happening. So can you imagine it? You sell this thing, you ship it off, it, it's free shipping. And the person says, uh, this is in a first edition um, that you sold me a reprint box, which is listed out here. So I don't know why you sold it under the first edition box. And now you have to pay to get the box back. That, that would suck. <laughs> that would honestly really, really suck. So I would say if you know any of these people, you might want to ask them, but like, did you put it under the right one? 
because you might have a potential problem. Um, that's that's what I assume anyways. All right, we are on gold and silver signatures. So remember with this set, first edition got gold signatures, silver edition, uh, reprint edition got silver signatures. Uh, you can see not much has really happened. Uh, there hasn't been that many um, showing up. So you, I find this amazing just because we have this gold signature 1350 Rimuru and then we have this 190 silver signature. So I really wish, I really wish I could just call these sellers and ask like what, what they're thinking. And not in a mean way or anything like that, but is it... Is this 350 here because you value the gold higher, it looks cooler, or is this over here 190 because you're trying to undercut this 350? <laughs> you see it? It's it's mind games happening here. We got some mind games happening, and um, I, I don't know which way it's going uh, in that way because I actually, if you didn't see the pictures of this, I like the silver on the blue. The silver on the blue looks really, really nice uh, in my eyes, and you can see here the gold is going to, they're going to pay more for it. But again, if if I had to if I'm on a budget or anything like that, well for one, I don't you probably shouldn't be buying cards. But if I was on a budget and I saw these two cards, I'm like, I'm probably gonna buy the one on the right. Uh, at 190 versus the 350. So as this continues on, it'll be really, really neat to see. And there's definitely been a lot of attempted selling on Facebook. I don't think I've seen a whole lot of it, especially when it comes to Hollow Live. I've seen some for slime, I believe. I mean, attempts to sell some, and I think some actually did sell, but you can see uh, it. it's all about the recession, right? Like this whole recession that's coming. If you don't think it's coming, it's coming. Um, well, that's my thought anyways. It, it's definitely gonna be here, and hopefully everybody's prepared. So, uh, yeah, just watch out what you buy. Anyways, um, that's all. That's all that's happening uh, with this. I know there's a secret rare. Uh, I guess I should bring that up, right? Here you go. Bam, secret rare. Anything happening? Oh, look at this. Look at this. The 650 versus 600 battle. Which one wins this one? I would actually say, if you believe these, this card should be $600, I would just buy the gold signature, right? 650. Uh, but I probably wouldn't buy either one of them more just because if you take a look at the signature it is a non-signature <laughs> I, I would not be buying it um, at that at that price at all and what the de what's the deal with this thing uh, there's no price on this one I was like market price 299 249 I don't uh, the silver depending on how much really comes out there I feel like the silver is going to be worth a little bit more. But again, just my feelings. Uh, double rare. So double rares took a mighty hit. Remember what I said before about um, because of the price of the double rares, people are going to just kind of kind of open it and sell it. This child on the inside, Malim, is now $14.20. $14.20. Uh, a precipitous drop, you would say, from $35. Uh, just about one week ago, and yeah, there, there's a decent number of uh, actual cards now. So if you wanted to play slime, here's your chance. I, I would honestly say I would rather just open a box myself than actually do it. Which, by the way, I do have a box. I have multiple boxes. Here they are. I was kind of upset because uh, this is no joke. I have... I, if you remember correctly, I did this whole secret shopper mystery thing, and I'm still doing it, uh, where I uh, buy from random places and uh, get get product. That way I can, if they're actually good, I can recommend them to you. You know, I would talk to the people that own it and figure out, you know, like if it's, if it's a good recommendation. I have more boxes, but I had uh, two problem children here. All right, you can see this one. This one's got a uh, rip on the actual plastic, and it's got dents all over it. So that was not cool. And this one has a dent on it as well. So that's not cool either. So, you know, because I like collecting sealed, so there goes two boxes that I'm going to have to open someday. Uh, one day, one day. But it was just, it was really disappointing because I can tell you, when I got this box, when I got these boxes, 
they were not protected at all. There was literally zero protection on the actual box. It was really disappointing. And then, of course, I saw the outside of the cardboard box, which was dented in. And I'm like, well, hopefully these people will put some, uh, you know, some padding around some of these boxes. And nope, it was not. Um, I also bought another booster box, and it came in a bubble mailer. And it wasn't even like a good bubble mailer. It was one of them cheap ones where it's basically like it, you could feel like there's bubbles in it, but it's all hard. Like it's a hard bubble, um, and it, it's flat. It's basically not, not even there. So I saw that thing, and that thing was pushed in. Like the envelope itself was pushed in, and I'm like... Well, I hope this isn't my booster box. And I'm like, yep, it's my booster box. So that wasn't fun either. So there, there was two stores that are crossed off the list forever for me. Um, again, I don't tell you who they are, but still, it's, it's disappointing. It's disappointing that people would actually ship it the way they do, right? Like it's uh, having a box is one thing, but you definitely want to protect the stuff inside of it. So the mystery shopper thing I will tell you is very, very disappointing. The Hollow Live stuff, I said it a little bit before, it was it was bad. It was bad. I ended up buying from six different places because number two and number three were no good. Um, stuff happened and I had to not use them. And then I had to move on. All right, lastly, the side Tramieri. Uh, what we have here is Booster Box. Why I'm bringing this up really is just to show you this set it's a normal set, 10, 10 double rares is what's inside of it. But you can see on Yu Yu Tay, I've shown this before, that it's pretty expensive, the double rares. It's a good set. It's it's pretty good. It's a strong set. And you can see here 34, 80, 12, 80, 12, 80, 12, 80, 17, 80 um, is what you're seeing. Like these double rares are really expensive. And I saw on Facebook, again, no, no disrespect to this person um, selling a a play set for $490. I don't know if that actually comes with a trial deck play set, but 490 even even with the without with with a trial deck subtracting out the trial deck that takes it down to 450. I'm like, holy crap, because you know it, you could probably buy 10 boxes of this thing. I will tell you, I looked before I did this video, there are places on the internet that are still selling this in the 60s. Right, uh, so at 490, I would rather if I had 490, would I buy a playset? This is that back to my playset video that um, I know some people didn't like, which is cool. I don't care. I don't care. I'm past that. Um, where I said at four, like think about this: at 450 dollars, would I rather buy a bunch of boxes in the 60s uh, and take a shot at it and end up with? You're not going to get all the double rares, but at the very least, with let's say seven boxes you probably should be able to unless your luck is horrible pick up a uh, sp right like you'll get some shiny stuff you'll get the triple rares um you can some of these are pretty expensive and the double rares are expensive as well so you can see this we got triple rares here uh some of these sps are fairly decently priced as well some not all but some and I would say like that's that's where I'd go. Like hearing a playset in the 400s, it was kind of like mind blowing to me. I haven't been paying attention to the Japanese sets all that much, as in like how much people sell playsets for. But to hear one above $400 in 2022 really shocked me. I'm like, what's the deal? But I was like, maybe it's sold out everywhere. And I'm like, nope. Easily, I found two places uh, selling this. One in the 60s. And I think the other one was in the 70s. But still, it's just uh, really really weird to, to see that um i mean imagine i don't imagine like japanese to be like low 200s like uh english side is but uh no i mean it, it should be somewhere around there for for us so that's that is it that is everything that, that was a lot um so that is the end of the why sure stuff if you don't want to hear about like the work and life and all that stuff then you you can probably just go now but again I appreciate you all being here as always. Um, I will do my best to, uh, you know, hit you up your comments and your emails and all that in a more timely fashion. Right now, I just can't, uh, but hopefully, I can get back onto schedule.
Got my bird is out there again. Anyways, as always, have fun, be happy, and don't spend anything outside of your budget. Later. Whew. I'm gonna take a drink before I do this next part. It's been a long couple days, I'll tell you. Um, what have I been doing? So I have been working a lot. I'm I'm like over. What do you call that at work? Over allocated. I'm over allocated. I have so many things to do. Like at, tonight, I'm probably gonna go to sleep at two in the morning. Right now, just to tell you what time it is. In real life, it is seven fifty six my time right now. So I'm gonna do this video. I'm gonna eat some dinner. I was supposed to work out, but I didn't because I recorded this really long ass video, and um, I have to go back to work. So that's the sucky part about life. Uh, wife is gone. Uh, I mean, until Friday, she's on a business trip. That kind of sounded off me saying that, but she's off to a business trip. I've, I've talked about it a little bit. So she'll be back on Friday. Uh, so I've been working and sleeping on the couch, which is, it, it's funny hearing like that whole bachelor dream thing, right? What, what do bachelors do? Like they eat pizza, hang out on the couch, you don't shower. I guess now and not having to go to work, I don't, like as in driving to an office, I could just do all of that all at once. It's uh, pretty amazing. But um, outside of work and being incredibly busy, which is why I, I barely have time to do this, uh, I went to a wedding. and Well, actually, I went to round one with my sister. It was a little while ago, but here, check it out. I'm going to mute myself while I play this. Yeah. Birthday luck. The flight of the UFO catcher. I thought you had it. Yeah, so she got that, and um, I took this picture and sent it to my wife, uh, more because she doesn't like stuffed animals. I, I If you don't know, I, I love stuffed animals. I have them all around, all around scattered through the house. That's why I said I can't have figures, too, just because uh, this right here, I pretended like this was all mine, and she did not seem very, very happy because she wasn't there with us. She was working that day. And I sent it to her and she's like, no, you are not bringing that home. And I'm like, look at that, look, they look so nice. My sister actually got the Hello Kitties all in one grab. It, it picked up two of them all in one grab, so uh, she lucked out. And I and uh, if you're still out there, Crane Guy, uh, this that video was for you. Because I know there's a, a YouTube channel, his name is Crane Guy. I looked and your videos are gone, but he would go around and actually just show videos of himself like totally uh, pulling out lots of stuff from a crane machine, which is pretty cool. I'm not, I'm not good at that one. And then I went to a wedding. So here's this. I'm going to mute the wedding. I did not ask my niece for permission to show her. So if this gets edited in any way, that is because uh, she wrote back and said, no, she doesn't want to be in this thing. So I'm going to be very, very careful, I think, about what I'm going to show here. So there we go. Okay. Look at this wedding. It's, it's freaking nice. They had music playing in the beginning. It was in a, a garden, arbitorium. Um, uh, here. Look at this thing. This is nice. It was freaking humid. Humid. I don't want to show her because I don't know if she's cool with it. I think you see the back of her. Uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, niece. But there she was. She she looked. She dressed very very nicely. I was very proud of her. Not to say she dresses badly, but uh, she cleaned. Well, they always say you clean up really well. So she cleaned up really well. It was nice. Uh, so she was my driver for the night. I needed her because uh, I really love the wedding experience. I I partake of 
everything the wedding offers to me and it, it was nice so check out this fountain if i can get a quick yeah they got a fountain there was another area that had these massive fountains and they said they couldn't get it like the the place went because the the ground was all wet it was wet from uh being rained on the day before and oh it was actually raining that day you can actually see some rain um so there was it was raining earlier that day i didn't think they would even have it outside but they somehow made it happen the chairs that they had were sinking into the ground because of it but it was overall it was, it was really really nice i had a, a lovely time um it's one of those ones where this is kind of like where the life part kicks in or i think i get super sentimental about these things like i i look at these two people happy and you know, like you could see them and uh, not to say i'm not happy but they're happy with life you know this is like one of the happiest moments of their life and i look at them and people look at them and they have like all the potential and all that stuff in the world uh, happening here. Let me just put that back up. I feel like this is a better picture to look at. Uh, they have, you know, their life ahead of them. <laughs> and it makes me sit there and I'm like, what am I doing with my life? I'm making, I'm, I'm doing this job where I'm working uh, crazy amounts of uh, hours, potentially getting yelled at by uh, people, and then uh, making these videos. I will tell you, uh, congratulations to Tressa's Collectibles for the 1,000 if you're listening at this point. They made 100 videos. The 100th video is to celebrate that. And I went back and I looked at mine. And again, I'm not comparing and I'm not upset or anything like that. I was just, I was just like, how many videos did I make by now? I made, overall my YouTube channel has 235 videos. And I had, uh, you don't get to see all of them because I had to hide them because of, you know, what happened last year. I'm not going to say that stuff again. Um, I had to delete some, so that's missing from the count too. And some have nothing to do with uh, why or anything like that. And I'm like, man, I made a whole lot of videos in a, a span of like one year. It's pretty nuts, actually. I remember that time where I was making like uh, videos every day for, I tried to do it for a month, but I think I made it to like day 13 or 14 or something like that. And then that's when work kicked in. But, you know, I have those moments in time where I see this and I'm like, man, am I really doing, am I living to my potential? Do I really wanna, do I wanna do this? I was sitting here and like doing this and I'm like, man, this isn't as fun as, uh, you know, it, it could be. I always did this channel, you know, just to reminisce here like to help people out. And I think I'm getting to that point where I'm almost done helping people out. I mean, every now and then I still get people writing that says thank you um, and all that good stuff. But I, I started this really just to not have people getting ripped off and then just talk about the market and help bring more eyes to why Schwartz. I think I did that. Um, and uh, I haven't told many people this, but the 1000 thing, um, though I would like to get it, it really wasn't like a goal of mine at all. It's not a goal that I have. Really, it was just to help people out. And um, any day I could just like decide, you know, I don't want to do these videos anymore and I'm just kind of done. So that's always been something that I've thought about. I don't, I'm not saying I'm doing that, uh, but uh, with, I will be slowing down really just because of work, but uh, I would say there will be a day where I think like these videos aren't going to be as effective as in helping people or maybe I've made enough videos where I don't have to do this anymore. So uh, if you see, I'll, I'll let you know when that day actually comes, but um, I don't I don't ever had the plan to actually just keep doing this forever unless there's something that's keeping me doing it or I find something that's really thrilling and fun about this. But, uh, you know, just staring at numbers and all this and telling you not to buy this or to buy some of this, it's it's whatever it is, right? Like, it's just, I don't know. I'd rather be playing the game and hanging out and uh, uh, looking at cool cards. I, I think that's, or talking about that Rick and Morty or talking about anime. There's actually someone, um, I don't want to say your name because I do remember your name, uh, but uh, I wrote back to her this morning about like she she asked me if i ever wanted to do like anime reviews or um re i don't know if you said reactions but you know basically just talking about anime and i'm like yeah i always want to do that that would be a lot of fun because really again i think the majority of people that are interested in this have some kind of connection to anime there's some people in it for just straight money uh, but there's other people that are in it because they liked an anime or series like that and i would love to just sit here 
and talk about anime all day long. I would love to do that. Just watch it, talk about it. That would be fun. Um, looking at numbers and, and doing all this, like this play set, even though I think it's helpful to people to see the prices and all that, is this like my driving passion? I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't think so. Another spreadsheet outside of work. That's what I need in my life. <laughs> oh, and uh, especially since I, I would love to work out. So instead of working out, I did this. So again, I'm, I'm not blaming or saying anything like that. I just will say maybe one day, I don't know what day that will be. Uh, maybe I won't be doing these. And hopefully everybody's, well, I was going to say hopefully everybody's cool with that, but it doesn't matter because I think it's one of those ones where uh, you got to value your own like happiness first, right? Especially with everything coming up, so uh, seeing that whole wedding thing got me thinking about like what I should be doing with my life. Having my wife not here gives me the time to think. As I sit there endlessly at night, staring at the glowing uh, light of a uh, com corporate laptop, yeah, and and the mighty spreadsheet and uh, Word document that I work on every day. So it's, uh, it's, it's given me a lot of time to, to do there. Um, after that wedding, it took me a lot of uh, time just to like, it, it's nice to be alone for a while when you have to think about things. And I think everybody needs that. So especially with everything going on. Um, I know there's a, a person out there in my life that is going through like the same kind of like I, i'm not having a midlife crisis just so you know <laughs> like if anybody's worried i'm not having some sort of midlife crisis but there is someone out there you know who you are that is going through like a time of pondering and what they're doing in life and i would say um knowing that you know like your finances are good you don't have to worry about that stuff yeah definitely take the time if you're out there listening take the time to uh, do what makes you happy and, and really, really think about uh, uh, what you want to do as in, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that right away. Like if I were you, I would, again, I've told you this, but I would take the two, three, four weeks, maybe a month or two and just um, do whatever I want. I think that would be awesome. I would love to do that right now. Kind of just, you know, just show up tomorrow and be like, I'm not working anymore. I'll see <laughs> I'm just exiting for a month or two. I think that would be really nice. When I stopped doing these videos, like just for the couple days, it actually is hard to really just hit record again, really, because it's like um, uh, the amount of time it takes and all that. And again, I I'm cool with doing it. I'm, I'm happy to do this. Like I as I was doing this video, I was happy doing it. Um, but it does take a lot of time. And uh, But also the people that are out there that listen to it, I really appreciate you too. Because uh, it takes the both of us, me to make it, and you to listen to it to make this all work. Which I still find it really amazing that people want to hear this. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think my real passion in all of this. And I, I'm glad that people that, I guess, didn't like what I had to say before are finally understanding why I actually do this. And uh, see that there, I have actually some kind of love for this versus like money. Because obviously I don't sell this stuff. <laughs> I don't sell this stuff. This Vire Invest video has got me in a lot of a lot of heat, I guess. I remember those people that were just like, just buy it all or don't buy it. Don't be a scumbag. Don't, uh, yeah, it's it was, it was nuts. I only do it to help people out. But for me, it's really, I love the anime. I mean, reprint, no reprint, don't matter. Like, this slime thing, this slime booster box, it's going to be pretty awesome. And I think in the future, it's going to be uh, fine the way it is. What I want to say about this is it's going to go up in value. 100%. Slime is such a good show. I mean, Rick and Morty, if that ever comes out, it'll it'll pull off like a... What does Rick and Morty compare to? Would it be like a Seven Deadly Sins? Like in pop, I didn't look at the popularity of Rick and Morty. I know it's, it's pretty big, but... Uh, anyways, I just love this stuff. It's great. Uh, that's why I bought Rebirth for you. I never thought I'd really buy Japanese, but I bought Rebirth for you because <laughs> I love D4DJ, even though Bushy Road gave me a copyright strike for it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I love it. It's good. This this whole stuff is fun. It's just, it's sad to me to see. I will say what bothers me lately is uh, with this stuff is why I hate the, the money side of it is you could definitely tell. I'm, I'm good with anybody a asking me questions and all that stuff, but you can definitely tell when someone's really just in it for the money. Like, really, really in it 
for the money. And I, and I think that kills a little bit of the love for me. There's other people that want the money, but at the same time, they actually love the anime. There's some people that, you know, honestly have no idea about anime. They could care less about any of it. Like they're literally just trying to make money. And that, that, that's the thing that hurts me the most. This is like where it's just all about the money. Um, I do, I will say one thing while I'm here, since it's one hour later, uh, that I see sales posts and all this stuff making fun of, uh, it, there's a tone, right? When you, when you say certain words, there's a tone. So, um, I'm going to use the example that I saw, like the word weeb, like I'm okay with, uh, you know, if Audrey went up to me and said, uh, weeb and all this stuff, I would, I would take it as a joke, right? Because it's funny that way, but there's people those people that are in it for straight up money that says weebs. And I'm like, I don't, I take it as a little bit of a disrespect uh, because of the way, the tone that it, it gives me and what they're actually doing with the product. It's not because it, they seemingly have a love for uh, the product itself or the anime. It really is. They just want to make money. So throwing out the word weeb from a person that, I guess would say maybe not respect the actual um, people or culture around it. I would never buy from you. <laughs> like there, I've had plenty of videos where I said I wouldn't buy from a certain group of people, and the, I, I would add that to the list, right? Of of the people I wouldn't buy from, just um, all of that. So it, it does get me down that there's some that are in it for all the money, but. That's the nature of these cards, right? All the cards. But I wonder what's going to happen with this stuff when the, the recession hits. Like, real recession hits. Like, as in, are we going to get an oversupply of stuff because people can't afford to open this and all that stuff? And I will say, um, the nice part about, I haven't been able to watch, I, I will tell you, I haven't watched um, all these Y Schwartz videos as much as I wanted to in the last, like, month. So anybody that... You know, normally I would watch your videos on like first day, second day, third day. Um, I might not watch your video for like six or seven days or two weeks more just because of how busy I am. So I do apologize about that, but I do see it. Like if you look through like the YouTube, there's there's more and more, but at the same time, it's like even though there's more, it feels like it's less. I, I and that might seem really weird to me, but just take a look at the amount of views. There's more videos, but at the same time, it's not many views for how much there should be it's odd but that's that's my feeling on it and uh, maybe someone's out there someone out there can describe it a little bit better than me this is what happens when you do like an hour-long video right you just start rambling and uh but that's that's how i feel just looking out there so hopefully more people uh make some more content i think that would be uh really really nice it'd be fun um if you want to do financial videos, I'm all cool with that too. But uh, yeah, overall, I think um, I think with there, I, you get these moments and like I want to. Yeah, I said that before, but I am one of them more sentimental people. So I have these moments in life where this is just how I am, and I have to get through the I guess funk or figure out what I, and then I come back stronger. So right now with work, uh, with life events and things like that. It may be a little bit before um, I get back to like, I don't even have a schedule, but a, a schedule where I upload to the amount that I actually want to. I have so many things to open. I'm not even joking with you. I, I just see it all around me. Like there is stuff. I wonder if you can see that. If I make this bigger and just move my body, there is stuff. All over that table right there uh, there's stuff right behind this camera that is, up, that is just stacked up my wife gets like really uh, uh, mad that I have all this stuff just sitting around not mad uh, I'm not gonna use that word it's not mad she's just like she doesn't like the clutter and, and I can agree with her in that way it's probably kind of messed up that on my uh, dining room table there is stacks and stacks of trial decks uh, there's booster boxes, there's Rebirth for You, there's Y Schwarz, uh, there's Bang Dream over here. I got these slime now. So yeah, it's just stuff everywhere. Um, I have cards coming in the mail uh, that I didn't get to. I should be emailing people back. But anyways, 
that's where I am in life and all that stuff. So hopefully you're all doing well. Um, there's been people that have wrote me in the past and you know, again, I still think about like your situations and stuff and hopefully everything's going well on your side. A uh, special person in my life, like I said earlier. Hopefully you're doing good. I always got you. Um, yeah, that, that's really everything. I should really go and work now. <laughs> I, should really go. <laughs> I should really do the things that I should have to do. Um, and definitely, uh, I need to work out. Get, uh, get my body in shape. It is summer season soon, right? Like, I got to get my beach body. And no, I, I never cared about that. I don't know. I don't even really go to the beach. I like pools. Pools are great. My wife got a, a, a place with a hotel pool. I asked her if she's going in it. She said no. Um, I, you sh I was like, you should. It's a freaking hotel pool. I love hotel pools. Hotel pools, hotel hot tubs. This is the best. That's a nice trip. That's a good time. Uh, overall, yeah, that's where I am. I think... Uh, I think... I think with everything happening in life, it, it makes me reconsider everything that I do. Um, I don't regret doing this YouTube stuff. I, I wish I could give you better videos. <laughs> I wish, it is always funny to me when I do these, um, uh, let's see, where I do these things and I just go through tabs. People got like graphics and images popping up. <laughs> Like on the screen, like, you know, they give you this background and they give you images and it pops in and here's me just hitting tabs, millions and millions of tabs. And, and I give you a uh, Excel spreadsheet <laughs> to think I made it this long. I made it over a year and uh, people are still cool with the Excel spreadsheet, uh, crappy thumbnails, uh, bad audio bad camera sometimes and uh, all that stuff so again I, I really appreciate you all bearing with it I, I just um, do what I can and uh, yeah that's that's what it is we have fun we have fun in our own way damn it and uh, hopefully you all enjoy it I know now I'm tired but yeah anyways hopefully you learned this learn this right here man oh man Where's my cocoa? I'm gonna I'm gonna put up my cocoa and I'm gonna turn this off. Where is it? Where is she? Oh, you know I'll, I'll put Kiara on here. I can't wait to get this card. It's funny I'm zooming in and it's not like getting any bigger. There we are. All right, as always, everybody have fun, be happy, and don't spend anything outside of your budget.